it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts. I have just filmed this, but I spent the whole time showing both my address and the person who sent me this address. <sighs> How annoying. So I've put the envelope down and I'm going to start again. So, hello, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here with a little bit of Happy Mail, an ATC that I've made and just to say hello and have a catch up because I've hardly been on here over the summer. I think I made a video last week um, but yeah I've been a bit absent so I just wanted to say hello. Um, hope everybody's doing all right. I am woefully behind in watching videos. I've watched a little bit this morning. Um, I'm never going to catch up so I'll probably just try and see people's most recent videos and say hello in the comments there um but yeah I don't really I think life's just felt kind of busy um but yeah no no great excuses really it's just some, I don't know summer I think it's been nice to have a wee bit time off but I got this envelope in earlier this week so I've sliced it open I'm going to do a really I'm going to try and be really careful to not show my address um, or the person who sent me his address. It's from the lovely Rana, um, who is Lilo Crafts, and I didn't know what it was, but I have opened it and filmed myself, and so I know what it is now, but still, you don't know what it is. So, so Rana had a giveaway um, earlier in the summer. It was her YouTube anniversary, and it was also her birthday month, and so she ran a very generous giveaway. And I sent her a little, I think you had to send her embellishments and an ETC. And so she sent me this very generous thank you card. Isn't that lovely with all the little different expressions? They're like pretty little emoji faces. Um, and so basically the card says thank you for helping to celebrate our birthday and anniversary all the way from Scotland. And um, she says some very kind of things. And I'm so glad that you enjoy my personality. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird one, but you know, you've got to accept that. I think by the time you get to the, the grand old age I am, I've accepted I'm a weirdo. So I'm glad that somebody appreciates that. <laughs> she also gave me this lovely little matching envelope. How cute! And it is filled with some little. I'll show you the tags first. These little sort of uh, can you see they've got a wee hole so you could use them as a tag or labels or journal with them or something they're beautiful I love this one especially the, the pop of those colours on the black is just gorgeous and then some I think these are like little vellum stickers so there's a beautiful butterfly some lilies yellow flowers I'm not sure what they are but they're very pretty and a little poppy so thank you so much Rana that is really really generous and if you don't know her channel it's definitely worth checking it out she is one of the people who um, hosts the um, embellish with us Wednesday challenge which I've not done for a few weeks um, but I've got little ideas percolating in there for that um, so I'll link her channel below and please hop on over and check her out. Um, you will not regret it. Um, so I have been busy trying to get organised for Christmas. Is that That's a bit of a leap, isn't it? It's August, but um, I have... Some of you might know I've got an Etsy shop and um, I have been following along with this course from a lovely um, Etsy kind of trader um, and we've been doing this getting organised for Christmas challenge so I have been planning new designs, I've been getting stock, um, some stock made, I have been um, planning launches for stuff and busy 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 lots of planning so my head has been in that kind of getting the shop organised mode. I've also been doing a bit of inking. Sorry about the state of my hands. Um, 
so if you want to know about more of that stuff it's um i'll be starting to share it next month so if you can follow along on instagram if you're interested um i will um pop the link for that in the description box um but i'm woefully behind on things like youtube and um crafty swaps etc so i have um, I've done an ATC this morning so the lovely Willie Steph I will link her in the description box too she organises a monthly ATC swap and it's great fun I've been doing it now for I don't know, months and months and months and she very kindly pairs us all up with a, um, a partner and then you swap ATCs and so I have made this little one this morning. I don't know that it's... So it's a bit of a Scottish theme. Um, so what I did was I've got a kind of a tartan stencil. It's through in the bathroom because I washed it. Um, I think it's a Ranger Tim Holtz one. This is some of what I did with it. So I just I taped it down on a bit of white card. Put some texture paste... This is the one I'm using. It is from Imagination Crafts, which I could own properly. And then I just, once I've done that, still leave the stencil on, um, sprinkle some pixie powders on it, spritz it with water, and then peel off the stencil and wash it straight away because that structure paste, once it's dried, it's... <sighs> I'll not use the words I'm thinking of, but you can imagine what they are. It's a a real pain to get it off <laughs> so I used that for the base and then this is an all and create stamp so I stamped that with two different colours of ink and then went in with some coloured pencils and then I was trying to find a word in my um, Tim Holtz you know the little book of stickers these little stickers I was trying to find like home or something couldn't but I thought never give up is quite a good sentiment for a thistle because let's face it these they can you find them everywhere they're very good at growing in the most um inhospitable conditions so I've gone for that um I remember seeing a comedian years ago talking about um when all the nations were getting together to decide what flower they would have and <laughs> And how Scotland ended up with the thistle. <laughs> like, you want the weed? You want a weed? A spiky weed? And Scotland was like, yeah, yeah, we'll have that. That's the one for me. So I'm going to get that sent off tomorrow on my way to the hairdressers. Finally getting my hair cut. My fringe is needing it. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I've been up to really. We've been at quite a lot of stuff in the fringe, which has been really good fun. Um, I mean, not like every night, but I've been to see quite a lot of shows. Um, so if you don't know Edinburgh, I live just outside Edinburgh. I grew up there. Um, and every August, apart from the last couple of years, we have a massive international festival. So um, the international festival has all sorts of um, art, music, theatre, um, dance opera anything you can imagine and then we have the fringe festival which is again there's some music and dance a lot of comedy um, and theater and lots of stuff like that there's loads of like street theater going on um there's the film festival there is i think there's some tv festival i saw a clip from one of the bbc journalists that was causing a wee stir on twitter um jazz festival i think that was maybe last month anyway so much to do and i always used to love going to the festival and then obviously with covid it didn't happen at all in 2020 2021 they had a very small i think it was stuff that was all outside um and we didn't go in for that but we've been to see some really good stuff and we've got our last shows on Saturday, so um, we're going to see we're going to see a dance thing in the afternoon on Saturday, and then 
two comedy things in the afternoon a South African comedian my husband's South African um, who we have seen before quite a few years ago and a sort of improv thing it's I think it's called the comedy night at the museum we've seen it before and they have maybe I think they had about four or five different comedians and they had to respond to like an artifact or an exhibition or something and turn it into a kind of lecture kind of thing and it was very funny so um yeah I don't know who we'll see for that but it should be good um so yeah it's been really it's been lovely it's been lovely to see Edinburgh busy again um definitely has taken a little bit to get my head around it not used to being in big massive crowds like that so it's um it's a bit of a culture shock after covid i would say not that we're finished with covid but um after all the lockdowns and everything you know we're kind of trying to get back to some sort of normality again um we've not been into town have we been in since the bin the, the bin men are on strike and our bin strike starts tomorrow we're in midlothian so we're in different kinds of um so yeah i don't know i don't know if other countries are going through the same sorts of things but um we've had train strikes and bin strikes and i have to say quite rightly so i think it's you know we all we all stood and clapped for people during Covid and then people are getting paid a very small wage for doing a really important job and they don't get wage increases and they don't get looked after particularly well and with a cost of living crisis it's scary times so um, I keep, I've seen a few things of people being shocked at seeing the states of the streets in Edinburgh but um, I suppose you just just goes to show you how important the job is that these all our refuse collectors and street cleaners do especially at a time in the festival when you see people just dropping litter on the um on the road i'm turning to such an old lady i was saying to my husband i mean people wouldn't do that in their own house would they they wouldn't just if they finished their drink they wouldn't just drop the, the cup on the carpet it's like some people maybe would it's like well not in my house so yeah so that is our fun day on saturday um hopefully we'll be avoiding the get through the rubbish to, <laughs> i think we'll just take our rubbish home but um that's the plan anyway um and hopefully we'll get some get some resolution for people and people can earn a wage that they can live off um but yeah what else have i been up to think so busy with ginger ninja craft shop on etsy having a bit of time off and enjoying the summer and the fringe um i think that's about it really yeah we've had a few things cancelled um we were supposed to have a gig was it last night and that was cancelled um so due to ill health i think um, however i hadn't realized it was those tickets were actually quite expensive and we'd seen there's a couple of gigs we were interested in in glasgow in december and when we saw that this the regions the machine gig had been cancelled we figured out we could go and see both the glasgow ones for the price of the tickets so we booked them i mean it would might be more sensible to take that money and put it towards paying for your electric in the winter We've decided we're just going to wear jumpers and see how long we can wait before switching on the electric and the gas. Well, the electric's on, but switching on the gas, central heating. Um, but yeah, maybe it'll be cheaper to get out of the house and go and do things than actually heat the home and stay in it. Who knows? Who knows? I hope everybody else is doing all right um, and managing to get by at these times. Um, it's a bit of a scary world isn't it but um, do you know crafting is definitely my wee coping mechanism when you know you have to switch off the news sometimes because it's just dire um, 
and I'm, I always feel very lucky that I've got a craft that I can, I've got a hobby and craft that I can go away and be busy and take my mind off things that are happening. Um, it was a godsend during the sort of 2020 and um, yeah, I feel very lucky with that. I don't know that, I wonder how people cope when they don't have a hobby but anyway, I'm just blethering now. So I've got another video that will go up tomorrow with a, a design team make for my Julia McNeil Crafts design team. So you might get a sense of what colours and things I've used because I've just made it. <laughs> so that'll go up tomorrow and then I'm hoping that next week I'll join in with the embellish with us and the twinchies again. Um, so yeah. If there's anything that I've missed, please give me a shout in the comments. Let me know if you're doing any um, fun col collaborations or challenges or anything. Then give me a shout because as I say, I'm really behind with everything. Um, and it would be lovely just to hear how you're doing. So take care everyone and I will hopefully see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.